Hi, I am and Sam. Let me tell you about the zebra finch. Zebra finches are the most popular finch species due to its availability and price. This cute little striped finch has been kept in captivity for more than 100 years. Their color comes in multicolored. Their size is small. They can live up to 10 years. Their interaction with people is hands up. There are other birds in this family. Normal finch, Gordian finch, owl finch. Male zebra finches have red bills. On the other hand, female zebra finches have orange bills. Male zebra finches also have more striking colors like bright orange cheek patches. Zebra finches are often used in research, especially in regard to how they vocalize. Their diet and nutrition based on finch food. Perhaps the most popular finch due to its availability and price, the zebra finch has been kept in captivity for more than 100 years. Zebra finches breed readily and are a good beginner's bird. It's to care for and require, requiring a minimal time commitment. Because they are generally kept in pairs, Zebra finches will not need you to keep them company. Merely play the radio while you are out and talk to them when you are in. Other than that, uh, they will be fine on their own. The zebra finch is tiny, but it's not the smallest of the finches. It gets its name from zebra like the stripes across its neck, chest, and especially from its black and white bar tail. The normal colored male, the most commonly occurring color, is gray with a black tear, teardrop at its eye, bright red rouge patches on its cheeks, and a bright red beak at maturity. The female is more muted in color, with its beak being a paler orange. Zebra finches come in a variety of mutations, including pied, fawn, cream, white, and others. If you have a flock of these little guys, it's a good idea to buy several of the different mutations. That way, you can tell the pairs apart. Zebra finches are originally from the arid areas of Central Australia. They can still be found in large flocks there. They can also be found in Indonesia and East Timor. Zebra finches breed readily and are a good beginner's bird. It's careful and requiring a minimal time commitment. Because they are generally kept in pairs, zebra finches will not need you to keep them company, play the radio while you are out, and talk to them when you are in. Other than that, they will be fine on their own. Many people love zebra finches because they are easy to breed. In fact, it's difficult to stop them. All they need is a basket nest and some nesting fiber. At 8 to 10 months of age, zebra finches will start to breed prolifically. If you are committed to and prepared for raising finches, make sure to give them a breeding break, as too many clutches raised will exhaust the parents, especially the female who uses a lot of her energy to produce eggs. The breeding parents and the subsequent babies love egg food.
a nutritious supplement you can buy at the store or make yourself. A zebra finch will thrive on a pelleted base diet. And also fresh greens and other vegetables, grubs, apple, and a high quality seed mix. As a nutritious treat, finches also love uh, many kinds of berries. Ideal housing for zebra finches is a large flight cage or an aviary for housing finches. They will appreciate the space. Finches are not long-lived birds, living only about three to five years. And if you are really lucky, a bit beyond. Most zebra finches will not want to be handled. They are not really trainable as a parrot type bird is. Occasionally, you can find hand raised finches, or you may have to hand raise a baby yourself. In those cases, you will have a finch that is bonded to people and will happily perch on your shoulder or hand and be perfectly comfortable. Never try to force a finch to be friendly. This will likely terrify and stress the bird. Be careful. The male zebra finch is an enthusiastic stinger. Females generally do not sting. Their calls consist of a lot of peeping and beeping sounds. They sound like tiny little car horns while they will vocalize all day if they are happy. They are not loud. However, their calls can be quite persistent. If you are able to keep them outside or by a window where they can hear the other birds, they will often respond to the wild birds' calls. Zebra finches are susceptible to scaly face which is a condition caused by a mite that presents as white scaly areas around the beak, eyes, as well as the legs, which warrants a call to the vet. Zebra finches are prone to air sac mite infection, especially when overly stressed. This is a serious, serious medical condition that warrants immediately veterinary care. If caught early enough, a finch can be successfully treated. Finches can also have overgrown nails and beaks, which should be addressed by an experienced bird groomer or vet. It's time to get a zebra finch. Zebra finches are frequently available in large pet stores, avian retail stores, as well as from bird breeders. They come in in a few color mutations. Thanks for watching.